Bex here. How's it going, guys? Off the back of April's Inside Xbox broadcast, we were treated to a huge stack of upcoming Xbox Game Pass releases to look forward to on both console and PC, and we are so ready for them. But before Sam and I get stuck in, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all of the latest Xbox news, including all the official news drops on the Xbox Series X. But that's enough preamble, let's get to the games. This year's first Inside Xbox dropped a big amount of info for a little game. We're of course talking about Grounded, the upcoming survival game from Obsidian Entertainment. The biggest bit of news is that we finally have the intel on when Grounded will be available. So you'd better mark July 28th in your diaries because that's when the title drops into game preview on Xbox and PC, as well as early access on Steam. Now, let's talk a bit more about what you can expect from Grounded's story. It seems that things aren't as cutesy as the game's signature cartoon style might suggest. Grounded takes place in the ferocious wilderness of… uh, your back garden? Well, in either case, you'll be playing as a kid who's apparently been shrunk to a very, 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 very small size. Uh, isn't there a film kinda like that? But you're searching not only for a way to survive, but for a way to return to your normal life. There is certainly some mystery involved here, as the narrator, a toy-like robot called Burgle, suggests. You might come across some strange things lying around and whoever put them there is watching every step you take. So build, fight, survive and explore, but keep a watchful eye on the weird goings on when Grounded hits Xbox Game Preview this July. And for you Xbox insiders out there, you can sign up for the Insider Build right now if you just can't wait. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Let's start with Journey to the Savage Planet, which is coming to Xbox Game Pass for console on the 9th of April. This pioneer map comes from the creative director of Far Cry 4, which should give you an idea of the combo of exploration, shooting and looting that's on offer here. But it's in space! You're sent to an unexplored planet by Kindred Aerospace, the self-proclaimed fourth best interstellar exploration company on Earth. But that shouldn't stop you from becoming the single best explorer on this whole planet. A planet which, admittedly, you're the only explorer. Unless, of course, you decide to fire up the hopper, grow yourself a meat buddy, and team up with them for some online co-op. There's plenty to do as you try to figure out if this world is suitable for human habitation. You can scan the local flora and fauna, including the ickly adorable puffer birds, all work on uncovering the mystery of aliens who were here before you. You can focus on crafting equipment and unlocking new abilities in whatever order you fancy. Or you can focus on using those abilities and your pistol to just blow up everything in sight. If you really want to become the number one explorer though, you'll probably need to do all of the above. Since Yakuza 0 first arrived on Xbox in February, the Yakuza games have been gradually making their way to Xbox Game Pass, and you'll soon be able to continue the adventure with the release of Yakuza Kiwami. This is a remake of the very first Yakuza game, picking up 15 years after the events of Zero. Your character, Kazuma Kiryu, has just spent a decade in prison after taking the fall for his best friend, but quickly falls back into the life of crime. Bad news for Kiryu, perhaps, but great news for us, because it means you can spend the game exploring Yakuza's gorgeous recreation of Tokyo and getting into street fights with a brand new combat system introduced for the remake. And it's not all illegal activities. The streets of Tokyo are packed with mini games from bowling and remote control car racing to karaoke and a video game within a video game where ladies wrestle in tiny bug costumes. Kiwami is a great example of the Yakuza series' unique blend of crime drama, character moments and a weird sense of humour. Where else would you go from rescuing the daughter of a corrupt politician to chatting with a man in clown makeup to unlock bonus content? Over on Xbox Game Pass for PC, meanwhile, you can look forward to one of the most classic mainstays of PC gaming, Football Manager. The 2020 edition adds a ton of new features, from improved character models for players and managers to a new development center that makes it easier to unearth new talent and track the progress of your youth teams. A lot of new additions are all about long-term planning, actually. Whether it's the ability to promise new recruits more play in future seasons or wrestling long-term ambitions set by the board to deliver their supervision for the club without compromising on your own. But basically, it's Football Manager, you know how it goes. Pick your favourite team, lead them to the top of the table, and try not to get sacked along the way. And honestly, what more could you ask for? I'm going to go and play with Chippenham Town FC in a 4-2-3-1 playing expansive football and overlapping wingbacks. See you later, month. If you're 
are more into managing a team of witches and werewolves than strikers and midfielders though, you might want to check out Miss Silver, a roguelike dungeon crawl RPG coming soon to Xbox Game Pass for PC. There's a fantasy kingdom under threat and invasion of monstrous creatures to repel, so you need to gather a crew of heroes, from samurai swordsmen to a trainee grim reaper, and lead them into randomly generated dungeons where basically everything wants to kill them. You'll have to worry about light levels, starvation, oh and of course those monsters. And this being a roguelike, dead means dead, fail and you'll have to start all over. Luckily though, while your squad might be made up of adorable little chibi characters, they're also deadly warriors. Battles play out on a 3x3 grid, with victory decided by tactical positioning that unlocks team up combos that are as powerful as they are visually stunning. Not one for the faint of heart maybe, but if you're ready to heed the call, Miss Over could be just the game for you. Come and see what my newest creation thinks of your little flag. Look, we all know the cog are tough and strong, and they're always ready to fight, but in most cases, the biggest muscle is your brain, and you'll be flexing it plenty in Gears Tactics, which will be dropping straight into Xbox Game Pass for PC on April 28th. Serving as a prequel to the mainline Gears campaigns, you'll be stepping into rather large boots of Gabe Diaz, father to Gears 5's protagonist, Kate. We've had our eyes on this title since it was first announced back in 2018, but it's safe to say this is going to be a fully-fledged turn-based strategy game that delivers action on all fronts. And you'll be sending that action Ukun's Way, the name of the big bad that will pose as the story's main antagonist. He's kind of like a mad scientist who's been given a bit too much creative freedom. All those nasty creatures and enemies you fought in the past? Blame Ukun for those. Perhaps exciting of all is the wealth of customization options that you have at your disposal. Not just cosmetics, but all of your weaponry too. Gears Tactics has an unprecedented amount of options here, and it will be earned just by playing the game. There's no microtransactions for cosmetics or gear. Nice! And for console players, you'll be able to get your hands on Gears Tactics later this year. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more info when that comes in. For those looking for some virtual friendships, here's one small solution. Alvastia Chronicles, an RPG with over 100 companions to recruit to your cause, available on April 9th. From Ogre Warriors to Amorous Elves, there's an endless supply of NPCs to befriend and to try and convince to join your party. You can do that by either just chatting to them or completing quests. Which might sound like a bit of a nightmare if you're the kind of person who struggles to pick which companions to bring along with you and which ones to leave at home which is where Alvastia Chronicles team management system comes into play. You can sort them into teams of three, each led by one of your main characters. Companions will lend their skills to the leader's own, so by strategically picking your squad, you can create unique combos and special effects. Now that's teamwork, right? Slightly more mystical and more mystery now. Ever since that group of plucky kids from a little town called Hawkins took the world by storm when Stranger Things debuted on Netflix, fans have been clamoring for any bits of content they can. Now three seasons deep into the tale of dimension diving superpower lab tested teenagers, you can finally take part thanks to Stranger Things 3, the game. Aptly named as the title serves as an official companion to season 3, but delivers a distinctly authentic 80s experience that feels right at home. From a dozen characters from the show to control, each with their own RPG-esque skills and roles, plus plenty of landmarks from Hawkins to explore, this is the perfect way to dive into some extracurricular Stranger Things fun. There's mind-bending puzzles, action-packed combat, and all the 80s style you could ever need. And it's all going to be part of your Xbox Game Pass for PC subscription. Happy days, right? And to round the new additions off, we've got a bit of DLC for you to wobble your way around. Yep, it's everybody's favourite physics-based puzzler, Human Fall Flat, with a brand new level called Thermal. Explore snowy peaks to underground caverns in search of gold in this ludicrously absurd test of friendship. Work together or just be an absolute pain to your pals, it's entirely up to you. Whilst we don't have an exact release date, we know you'll be able to play it on Xbox One in spring when it comes straight to Xbox Game Pass. You are very, 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 very small. But that's not all, it's not just about the games, there's also some perks to being an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber. Introduced last month, we've got a new batch of goodies just for signing up. Right now on both PC and console, you can get 5,000 My Team points and 30 skill boosts for NBA 2K20, an Xbox starter bundle with credits and more for Warframe, and a monthly bonus pack for Fantasy Star Online 2. Plus, for those who haven't grabbed them yet, you can still get the Ori-inspired hull, flag, sail and figurehead in Sea of Thieves, a 5-god bundle pack in Smite, and 3 free tanks in World of Tanks. 
and more to come regularly. To unlock all of these on console and PC, simply go to the perks section inside the Xbox Game Pass tab to redeem them. Perks are also available for redemption through the Xbox Game Pass mobile app, but it's worth remembering that not all perks are available to everyone around the world. So check your region to see what's yours to claim. So there we go guys, that's all we know about Xbox Game Pass updates from April's Inside Xbox. Be sure to let us know what games you're looking forward to down in the comments, drop a like and subscribe to get the latest Xbox updates and we'll see you next time. Bye guys!